look at issue is whether an Oakland officer ran this Instagram account and whether any colleagues responded favorably, favorably to memes that were sexist, racist, or otherwise inappropriate. KTVU has learned that the Oakland Police Department has seized as many as 100 city-owned phones used by officers who are part of its crime reduction teams. Sources close to OPD say it has to do with officers accused of making controversial comments on a now-deleted Instagram page that had the handle Crime Reduction Team. It's very disturbing that anyone would post this um, because of the, the sort of um, sexist and racist um, and sexualized imagery. Darwin Bond Graham, the news editor for Oakland Side, broke the story about the Instagram account and reported that it may have been run by an Oakland officer. In this meme, birds representing officers react to a newly hired female police recruit. The birds respond by saying, mine. Another post seems to ridicule reporting use of force by fellow officers. A little girl represents an officer. What they're basically saying is they're expressing support for insubordination and the subversion of a policy that's really core to policing today. In a statement, the Oakland Police Department said we will not tolerate any form of hate speech, any expression that supports hate speech, or any acts of subversion, whether in person or on online platforms. There are clear policies and guidelines that govern this behavior, and OPD will root out this conduct anywhere within the department. It was a similar response after Oakland side reported that officers liked pro-Trump and far-right comments made by a former Oakland officer who was present during the Capitol siege. Speaking generally, John Alden, who heads Oakland Citizen Police Review Agency, says only city-owned phones can be searched. And they absolutely should be in any case where we're concerned about those communications. So we can see exactly what was being passed from one officer to another. You cannot confuse your First Amendment rights with your right to be a police officer. Civil rights attorney Jim Channon says these officers should know that any negative comments could bring disrepute to a department still struggling to meet court order reforms. Officers should know that by now, and the fact that some of them appear not to is extremely disheartening. 